Salesforce Quick Tips with Maddie G. Every once in a while, I get a request to create a button that pops a modal that shows users the important fields that they need to update on a record. Maybe that's because the record page is cluttered with tons of fields. Maybe it's because um, they just want a quicker way to do their job without having to look through the uh, page layout to find what they need. So I'm gonna show you a 100% out of the box way to do this. I've got an example here, update annual revenue for this account and I can change this to uh, 100,000 or something and you can see that it updated the annual revenue down here as well. So the way that you would create um, an out of the box modal pop-up like this is if you head over to your object manager and you go to buttons, links, and actions, what you'll do is you'll create a new action, you'll make it an update a record action and then leave the, sta uh, the standard label at none, or you can pick a standard one if you want. And we'll say update, um, what's a good field? Update rating, update account rating, like so. Then we'll save it. And um, what we'll do is remove all of these default fields because we don't need them. Remove, remove. And we're basically just creating a page layout to display fields for our users. And then I'll do a quick save here. And the last thing I will do is now that we have this quick action, we can go to our account layout, whichever one is the default in your org, go to mobile and lightning actions, find that rating, update account rating button we just made, drag it into the Salesforce mobile and lightning experience actions, hit quick save, then go back to our account, reload this, and we should see update account rating, what we just created. And if we click that, we can see that the rating right now is hot, but maybe it's cold, so we'll switch it to cold, and that should update the rating right here. Now, if you don't see this button pop up, it's probably because you have dynamic actions on your Lightning Record page, so you'll need to go into your Lightning Record page to update and add this button as well. Um, but in three minutes worth of time, I don't have, I, I don't have, I can't get it all in here. So just know if you don't see that button show up, it's because you have dynamic actions on your lightning record page and you, you'll need to go change them. Hopefully this Salesforce quick tip was helpful to you. And hopefully I'll see you next time on.